A major sector change is happening. Joining us now is Tim Edwards. He's a doctor and he also happens to be the managing director of index strategy at S&P Dow Jones Indices. So wonderful to have you here. Thank you very much. Nice to be here. Tell us about the sector change that's underway and happening very soon. Well, uh, it is quite a big change. What's happening is the traditional telecoms sector um, is going to be vastly expanded and renamed as communication services. Uh, the organizing principle is companies that kind of are in the business of uh, helping us communicate and monetizing the ways in which we communicate. So traditional telecommunication companies, they form the founding base. Uh, there's going to be some consumer discretionary companies coming over, companies like Netflix and Disney, uh, which are really tied into that sort of online entertainment world, um, but also companies like Facebook and Twitter. Um, so communication services uh, is the new name for the sector, which is going to be greatly expanded. Uh, those changes are coming in mid-September. And our talk was all about a look at this new sector, what it's built from and how it might behave. And why is this happening? I think that... The well, there's sort of two reasons. The first is telecommunications as a sector um, is a lot smaller than it used to be. Uh, in the US S&P 500, for example, there's only actually three companies in that sector. There's been a lot of mergers. There's been a lot of mergers. There's been a lot of consolidation. Uh, and in some sense, if you cast your mind back to you know, when people in the late 90s talked about the TMT complex, it was really thought that you know, the new wave of communication technology, those telcos companies would you know, capitalize on it. In fact, they didn't. Um, you know, uh, uh, inventions like smartphones and the changing ways in which you use the internet mean that actually it's different companies you know, like Facebook that actually capitalized on those trends. So in, in some sense it, it's happening because there was an opportunity to do so. In another, it's a recognition of the way in which our markets have changed. What do investors need to know? I think the most important thing to know is, is well, one, that this change is happening. Uh, and secondly, in my view, this improves the toolkit you have. So one of the big trends that um, we've noticed is the rising importance of sectors. We used to be in a sort of risk-on, risk-off market. Nowadays, it's more of a winners and losers. And when you look at trends like politics or trade or commodity prices, what often happens is you know, the news comes and one sector rises while another falls. That means that sectors are more of a relevant tool to navigate the current markets. And I think this change actually improves the efficiency and kind of usefulness of that toolkit. Best of success to you and thank you so much for the update. Thank you for having me.